this is the crossovers one character tournament, a one on one tournament where the main gimmick is how each character in the game is assigned to a contestant, so two contestants cannot pick the same character. At random points, I will deplete player's health in case the match is running too long, and be aware that there will be some lag due to contestants being from many different countries. First place gets 15,000 Robux, and thanks to Alpisk for recording the main clips. So most of these fights are cut short, but you can see the full tournament in the description below, but just be aware the full tournament is really really long. Each battle is one life only except for the last match. Uh, the finals is a set of three but after the finals we're gonna do one more match that decides third place. Alright here we have uh, Murder vs The Beast. Now the thing about this tournament is the tournament was actually um, made before The Beast was even released so the person that's playing Beast right now barely got any practice and this is an older version of the beast so we can see this clip is getting cut very short because the beast isn't it's, he's not really getting any hits in so it's not really interesting watch particularly but it's even the, the murderer is even using a footstep follow which isn't a very competitively viable move but he's still doing it because he's in that much of an advantage and yeah he won so Alright, now we have Tycoonus vs Block Center. Um, this is also one of the only two fights in the game that don't have any sound effect audio due to a bug, but don't worry, the rest of the fights beyond this point have, will have sound effects. Now, this is actually a pretty fair match. Um, many people say Block Center is the worst character, but um, I think Block Center holds up pretty well in this match. And you can see most of the hits that Block Center lands is from the Seeker variant, which uh, may say something about the game's balancing. I'm sorry, guys. But yeah, we can see uh, the main strategy the Block Center using is uh, usually like zoning out and using Zap to do damage. I think that might actually be where most of the damage comes from. Yeah. See, uh, the block is actually being used quite a bit, like quite a quite a lot in this tournament. And yeah. See, he's using uh, electric kick, uh, only electric knee to get closer, and like the Tycoonus seems to be in a disadvantage right now, but he's getting uh, some hits in. Okay. Oh, that was a combo from Block Center that got Tycoonus pretty low, so that's not looking really good for him. He's trying to keep some distance, and Block Center is respecting that distance with some zaps and. That's, yeah, he's dead. Uh, Block Center won that one. Okay, now we have Zombie versus Developer. So, Zombie starts off with Enraged uh, Explosive Zombies, probably the best thing he can start off, start off with. Um, so, you can see he's mostly, they're not really trying to get close to each other, you can see. Both of them are trying to zone. He tries to approach with some uh, freezing. And yeah, he tries to use the horde to his advantage. But... He actually uses Dark Ghost a lot of times during this match, except it doesn't really land most of the time. Yeah, this match uh, took a bit of a while because you see, they didn't really get close to each other. By this point, uh, almost two minutes have passed, and yeah, and he just hit developer in that combo which got him pretty low. And he's trying to use some explosive zombies maybe to distract the developer, and he's on fire. He's pretty low now, so that's not good. And he's stunned, and yeah, he's dead. The zombie won that one. Alright, we have Survivalist versus Napoleonic War Unit. This had some unexpected things happen. Um, so some silly shenanigans uh, would occur due to some lag. But anyways, you can see the Napoleonic War Unit is starting off at a disadvantage due to uh, Survivalist starting off with a blizzard, and he hits another blizzard. And he actually breaks his block. You can see. And that's not looking good, and... Okay, I can tell what he tried to follow up with after that block break, but it didn't seem to work out well. Uh, maybe I should make the block breaking stun a bit longer. You know, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. So you can see he's trying to hit. That's not really alright. Man, he's dead. That was a pretty quick match. So. Alright, now we have Noob versus Bacon. Now, if you played crossovers for more than 5 seconds, you would know these guys are the starter characters, and people say they're maybe one of the best characters in the game, especially Bacon. 
Um, not trying to sound biased there, but that's just how most of the community thinks. So you can see Bacon starts off with that combo which gets Noob at a pretty pretty big disadvantage. And he hits that combo again, but it ends, ends a bit early. Noob misses two, two feet to Noobs um, in this so far. And those were some pretty good combo starters, but he missed both of them and he got punished severely. So Noob is really low right now. He's trying to parry, but Bacon's a bit smarter than that. Um, it's not really looking good for Noob. I don't even think Noob can sprint anymore, actually. And he just got hit with another combo, and he's dead. Alright, now we have Elliot versus Chestnut. Um, and you see Elliot starts off with a combo there. Well, not really combo, more like just an M1, but you see. Oh, he hits that cart ride. But, oh, he actually dashed away. I actually thought he would get hit by that M1. Well, I guess I was wrong. Sad. You can see, due to the lag um, of the of the server, because of the contestants being in many different regions of the world, um, some of the faster attacks in the game are pretty much, you can't really dodge them because of the lag. You can see, he actually punishes that cart ride, which I might have to fix the frame data of later on, because I am the owner of the game. And he actually hit, that's a pretty, pretty good oven grab combo, hit by uh, Elliot. That gets the chestnut pretty low. Actually, no, they're, they're actually about the same health. But, yeah, this is looking at, like a pretty fair match so far. Alright, they're not really attacking. And, not sure why he, that... I'm gonna be honest, that secondary M1 was probably an accident. Uh, shouldn't have missed that cart ride, but yeah, he's not getting punished for it because he was far away. Alright, he hits an oven grab, see if he follows up, and he does, and yeah, it's not looking pretty for Chestnut. Alright, seems like they're trying to keep a distance, or Chestnut's trying to keep a distance, really. And, uh, yeah, he's not, yeah, he's dead. He's definitely dead. Alright, now we have Zeppelin Pilot versus Builder Man. I actually don't really see many people play like. Oh, okay, well, he Builder Man just got punished for um, that wrench snap. And. Yeah, we can see. Um, Ro Epic Man, the player of Zeppelin Pilot, is landing a devastating combo. That actually got Builder Man to like half his health. Half his health is just gone. So, yeah, Builder Man's looking uh, not, so, not so happy after that one. So, he's trying to keep a distance. And. Uh, not sure what the parachute strat is going on, but it doesn't hurt. You see, they're getting a bit closer to each other. Maybe, oh, Building Man misses another rich tap, and that's gonna, yep, he got the combo landed back on him. And that, that's gonna, yeah, that's, he's, he's, he's gone. Right. Alright, you see, Zeppelin Pi is trying to snipe off the, re the remainder of his health with a uh, air airplane, but Building Man's just hiding behind a wall, which, uh, I respect that strategy. Like, you're pretty low, so. He's trying to. Zeppelin Pilot is using the usage of his guns to, like, snipe off Builderman himself without getting close to him. Builderman uh, manages to heal a bit, but I don't know if it's enough healing. Alright. And, yep, he's getting comedy again, and he's dead after that one. Well, in that match, I actually didn't expect Zeppelin Pilot to land that devastating of a combo, but, you know, it's pretty cool, so be on the lookout for those. Alright, so this is Speedrunner versus Brick Battler. Alright, so Brick Battler is another starter character, and this is actually the last match um, before quarterfinals. So, yeah, so, um, trying to get close to each other, and... Brick Battler starts off with an advantage. That's a pretty, pretty good combo there. But Speedrunner claps back, and yeah, they're pretty equal in terms of their health right now. Uh, I don't know. I still don't know why he placed that bomb so far away, but you know, doesn't can't complain about it. And that's a really big combo from Speedrunner. So Brick Battler's uh, not trying to. He's not trying to get too hasty right now. His health is really low. And he just hits another barrage. Speedrunner is trying to finish it off. He lands a charge, and he's already dead. Alright, now we have Bacon versus Elliot. Both of these characters are pretty good in terms of their combo game. And start off with blocking, because they know each other. They know they can 
combo pretty well, so yeah. Actually, for the majority of this match, you didn't really get too close with each other. I had to like speed things up a bit um, by like slowly lowering their health. You can see that later on. Yeah, they're not really getting close with each other. They they know the potential each other can do with their combos. So I'm not trying to not trying to risk it all, you know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now now they're just trolling, bro. Okay. All right. So. Elliot sees this as a good chance to heal up because they're not really attacking. And you see I just took a bit more of the health away. They're trying to combo more. Oh, Bacon actually lands one of his combos and it's going to keep on extending until that finisher, which is not looking swell for Elliot. But maybe Elliot can come back, we don't know. He tries to heal up um, and he actually gets intercepted in the middle of the heal. That Soto is just going to be left there like litter all right elliot uh sees he can't sprint anymore so he's just trying to not die i guess and he managed to heal but it's, i don't know if it's enough healing bacon has the advantage right now both in terms of health and yep he lands another combo which is not really helpful for him. elliot he's gonna finish it off he doesn't but elliot's really low and he's gonna stay low for a bit he misses that grab, which lands him to a punish, and yep, he's dead. Alright, we have Speedrunners versus Zeppelin Pilot. Speedrunners starts off strong. Um, why are they fighting? Uh, you can see in the previous matches, both of these players actually played a pretty entertaining match and a pretty fast match too. Both of them are moving fast, and you can see Zeppelin's fishing for that combo that we saw earlier. Alright. Zeppelin is aware of Speedrunner's game, so oh, so Ze okay, so Zeppelin's hitting a combo, and yes, the same combo we saw from Builderman's fight, and that puts Speed Speedrunner at a disadvantage at like 50s health. He tried to snipe off some of that health with a uh, airplane. Does it, uh, might have to buff that. All right, Speedrunner looks like he's trying to get close, and it seems to be working. All right. A lot of dodging and blocking going on, and Speedrunner is using a uh, speed pad, which a lot of people say is not useful, but this guy is using it quite a few, quite a few times. So, All right. Both of these players' M ones are pretty good for starting up uh, a combo. So. Well, that's pretty much the case for like every character, but these characters especially, because both of their combos are devastating. They are equal terms in health right now, and all right, Zeppelin's landing, and it seems like his cooldowns are active, so he can't do like the devastating combo we saw earlier. He could only do that airplane, which doesn't seem to get much damage in. All right, Speed Runner seems to be hitting a combo here. Let's just see what goes on. Oh, he actually breaks his block. Okay, he gets that weak version of the secondary M1. Maybe that's a good thing. Right, a lot of dashing going on. This is an average crossovers gameplay. He lands that flare gun, which puts him on fire. Alright, they're still equal in terms of health. And. Alright, speedrunner's so close. Oh shoot! Okay, this is Block Center versus Murder. This match actually took a while, so this is uh, there's gonna be a lot of cuts. You will see a bit of cuts. Alright, Murder seems to have that advantage. He goes invisible and he tries to jump scare Block Center, but Block Center is hiding from that jump scare. Get it? Hiding? Get it? Okay, so we see a block center is now trying to zap some health out of murder using that electric attack and catches murder with an uh, electric pulse. And But he's still at a disadvantage. And we can actually see the person playing murder right now. Um, he actually uses knife throw a lot in this tournament, which uh, a lot of people say is a bad move. And even if it is, he's still using it quite a bit at times. Alright, seem to be seem to be at equal terms. 
All right. Murderer sees that Block Center is trying to keep a distance, so he tries to go visible and get close up. And Block Center hits him with a combo, so that's not what Murderer was expecting. Murderer, um, but yeah, Block Center is at 100 health right now, so that's not looking pretty for Murderer. But Murderer, uh, he lands a combo, so maybe he's trying to turn the tables. All right, he goes invisible again, and. I don't know where he went. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Okay, so he lands a bit of the M1. And. Right. Okay. The zoning. Right. Okay, he goes invisible again. Uh, and he jump scares Block Center. He didn't expect it that time. Alright. One thing I am noticing, they're basically keeping distance, and once they get, like, one stud uh, away from each other, they start blocking. So, it's be the gameplay is basically block when you're close, um, and shoot when you're far, which is uh, not really bad gameplay, but just a pattern I'm noticing. Right, he hits him with that knife throw, which is gonna put block center at a disadvantage, he can't sprint anymore. Right. That dash might have just saved Block Center's life. And, oh shoot, Murder gets a combo and he's dead. Welp. Alright, this is Survivalist versus Zombie. Survivalist is trying so hard not to become a zombie right now. And, yep, he misses our Dark Ghost, but it seems there will be no punish. Alright. Nothing so far. Alright, that sandstorm, not really gonna lead to a combo. He tries to do an N1 and it seems to be working out pretty good, so Sarayalus in a little bit of an advantage. He's trying to zone with meteors. And he gets stunned, bitten a bit. He's gonna become a zombie tomorrow. Okay. So this is zombies POV. And we can see yeah. So I don't know if that was a good thing for Survivalist or Zombie because Zombie dodged that tsunami by using Dark Ghost Invincibility, but Survivalist dodged the Dark Ghost by the speed of the tsunami. So okay, so that Blizzard is gonna you know, he can't follow up. Okay, Zombie's actually pretty low right now. Yeah. He missed that Dark Ghost and Survivalist fell on the floor. Somehow lagged his way through the scare. Right. Try not, try not to get close to those horde zombies. Oh. Okay, going to semifinals. All right, this is Bacon versus Speeder. There's only going to be two matches in the semifinals, so. Yeah. Alright, both of these characters are pretty good in combo game and just g goodness, you know? Alright. Yep. They seem like to try not to get close to each other, but Speedrunner is charged up his speed and he manages to get close to Bacon, which, which was what he was hoping, but he didn't. He wasn't hoping to get comboed like that, so. Okay. No, they're all fishing for a combo right now, and he's trying to start up one, but doesn't try to. It's not working. All right. So they're kind of zoning, but not zoning at the same time. All right. Misses that M1, but also misses that double doors. All right. There's a lot of missing going on. But he hits uh, one charge. And you can see every single time Speedrunner speed gets that sp speed pad, he starts to charge right to the bacon. He lands that combo right there. So bacon's looking a bit low. Uh, never noticed how bright that lava block was until you put that graphic quality to full. And Bacon is, yeah, he can't sprint anymore. That combo from Speedrunner was not pretty. And he gets block broken, and that lucky secondary M1 deletes him. Alright. 
Okay, this is survivalist versus murder. And tries to start it with a tsunami. Yeah. They seem to be be getting pretty close to each other. Not really zoning, but not trying to get too close either. So they're using their dashes wisely. Okay. And they're like exchanging blows. And yeah, that's gonna lead to a combo. Get snapped by that bear trap. That M1 and but he misses that. This is the knife agility. Oh, he's good. Sarah survival is getting punished for that. So survivalist is in a disadvantage right now, but he survivalist actually has um, the apple on him, so he can heal at any time, which is a pretty good tool to have. Okay, murder's just waiting for that M1 to go away so he can snap up survivalist just like that. And yeah, survival is really low, and murder seems to be using footstep follow, which is again not a very competitively viable move. Okay, both of them are low, but survivalist manages to heal up a bit. Yeah, so both of them are pretty low right now. Now I gotta say, survivalist is putting up some pretty good gameplay, even if he's kind of a as I was saying, he's, he's he's kind of a slow character, but he's still putting up some good gameplay, but not right now. Uh, he's getting comboed, and he's he has a single digit number of health. Okay, Survivalist is just backing up, and we skipped a bit because the fight was taking a bit long, but you can see Survivalist gets into another combo even after healing, and it's not looking good for both of them. So murder just goes invisible, maybe to do a little bit of tomfoolery. Uh, why is survivalist just slowly walking there? Survivalist versus speed. I did not think I would see this matchup happen. Okay. And speed nerd seems to be getting a lot of health off survivalist. Pretty much like 50%, I'd say. Alright. Survivalist trying to hit back. Seems to be working right now. But speed nerd dashes out. Okay. They know there's some pretty high stakes here, and Speedrunner gets that advantage. Alright, another combo from Speedrunner, and that finisher in one. Survivalist is uh, in a really big disadvantage right now. He misses that. Uh, oh shit. Speedrunner is just pressuring Survivalist right now, and that leads to that. Alright, but still best out of three, so maybe Survivalist can come back. Okay, Survivalist even pulls up in a different skin. Maybe he's looking to turn these tables around. Fighting fire with fire. Alright, get it? Because he's a firefighter. No, 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 no. Never mind. Anyway, so, right, so, he's still in a disadvantage, and Speedrunner is at 100% health. It's too bad he missed that blizzard. Heals up a bit, but. It's not looking like too big of a. Okay, so rather just needs to land one ding. But this is not. This is not looking good. Survivalist is already so low he can't sprint and he gets his block broken and that's game. Okay, and because third place actually gets um, uh, Robux in this tournament, uh, we have to have an extra match at the end to determine third place, which is Bacon versus Murder, the losing semi-finalists. And I actually put both of them at 50 health just to make the match go a bit faster. Alright. 
but uh, you can see he's trying to keep at a distance. Murder is trying to invisibility use that knife though. Uh, that might actually have been a good idea, but it didn't land sadly. He's using a lot of knife throws lately, and Bacon is landing a combo actually, but that combo was blocked. So he's in a really big disadvantage because he just got punished. And he goes invisible again, Murder goes invisible, and he misses that card right. Maybe because Murder was invisible. Alright. You can see Bacon is trying to play it safe by dashing and blocking. Murder is trying to put some knife throw game, some invisibility game inside the mix. Okay, they're getting a bit closer. Bacon doesn't seem to be doing much. And he's dead because of... Yep, so Murder gets third place. And yeah, that was the end of the tournament. Uh, there was also a redemption round at the end, but nor me or Alpix um, took a video of the redemption round. But one of the contestants did. So you can see uh, that contestant's video of their gameplay during redemption um, in the pinned comment. There's a link to it. And yeah, we only host these tournaments for uh, people in the Discord server, which you have to be 13 plus to join. And yeah, I mean, if you're 13 plus, I suggest joining it. So.